Hey there beautiful people! In this video I'll show you how you can download and install Maya 2018 on up to two devices for free by signing up for an educational license. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the Autodesk Education website. I'll put the link in the video description for you to follow or you can just google Autodesk Education just like I'm doing here. This will take you to the Education Community website. On the home page you'll see a link for Maya. Give that a click to be taken to the download page. Before you can download the software, you need to either sign in or create an account. It's absolutely free to sign up and the Autodesk Education Community is a really helpful resource. So as well as free software, by signing up you'll also get access to some really good learning materials and a really helpful community of Maya users. So signing up is a bit of a no-brainer really. Okay, if you don't already have an account, you need to click on create account and then fill in your details. You'll be asked which country your educational institution is in. I'm in the UK so I'm choosing that. You'll then be asked about your educational role. I'm an educator, so I'm choosing that option, but if you're a student, you'll probably want to choose the student option. Once that's done, click Next. You'll then need to fill in your personal details. Make sure you use a real email address because you'll be sent a confirmation email containing a link which you'll need to click to complete your registration. You'll then need to create a password and agree to the terms and conditions. Once that's done, you can click on the Create Account button. You'll now receive the confirmation email. Go to your inbox, find the email, and click on the link to verify your account. Once your account has been successfully verified, you can go back and sign in with the email address and password you just created. Next up, you'll need to select the version of the software that you want to download. You can see that Autodesk offer a few earlier versions as well as the latest, which is awfully kind of them. I want the latest version though, so I'm choosing Maya 2018. You'll then select the operating system you're using and your preferred language. You can now get the software installed. You'll usually want to just click on install now, but if you click on the little arrow to the right of the button you'll see there are some other options. If for some reason the install now option isn't working, I recommend trying the browser download option instead. Anyway, it's fine for me so I'm selecting install now. Accept the license and service agreement and click install. A file will now be downloaded. Once it's done, open it. This is the installer. There will be a small download and then the installer will open properly. In the installer you can choose the option to install Maya on your computer. This screen lets you choose which components you want to install. I recommend installing Maya, Arnold and Bifrost. Once you're happy with your selections, click on the install button. Now the installer will download and install everything needed. This is a pretty beefy download and the time it takes will depend on your connection speed and how busy the Autodesk servers are. It downloaded everything in around 15 minutes for me, but I've sped it up in editing because YouTube videos are a lot like lovemaking. The sooner it's over, the better. Once everything is installed, you will be greeted with this confirmation screen. This tells you that you've successfully installed Maya 2018. You can now click on the Launch Now button to open Maya. Your license is automatically verified, but if for some reason this didn't work for you, then you should have the license key in your email inbox. That was easy, wasn't it? But now you've got your shiny new software installed, you're going to need to learn how to use it. But don't worry, I've got you covered. If you're new to Maya, then you should check out my Maya tutorial for beginners. This covers everything you need to know to get started and takes two to three hours to complete. I made it in Maya 2016, but it's still mostly relevant. Even better is that the entire tutorial is completely free. The link is in the description or in the card at the end of the video. If you want a more up-to-date and thorough way to learn how to use Maya, then I really recommend checking out Pluralsight. They've got tons of tutorial videos on Maya, and they're suitable for complete beginners as well as seasoned professionals. I still use the Maya tutorials on Pluralsight to keep my own skills up-to-date. If you're just getting started in Maya 2018, you should check out the Maya 2018 Fundamentals course by Justin Marshall. Use the link in the video description to start your 10-day free trial. It's a free trial, you've got nothing to lose and some awesome new skills to gain. Okay, so that about wraps it up. If this video has helped you out, then please show me some love by hitting that thumbs up button below the video. I upload new videos regularly, including some damn fine tutorials on using Maya and Unreal Engine, so be sure to hit that subscribe button too if you want to see more videos like that. If you need any help or further information, then just drop me a comment below the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.